everyone. Welcome back to another video. Look what I have. <laughs> I am so excited about this. We finally have the Artex colored pencils, but with 126 colors. I have the previous set here that had 72 colors. So now we have an additional 54 colors in this set. So we're gonna take a look at this set today. They did change the packaging just a little bit. So just the color is different. And we still have the adorable little bunnies on here. Aren't they cute? I love the packaging. I do have a previous review where I reviewed the 72 set, so I will link that in the upper right hand corner. But today in this video, we are going to unbox them, take a look at the pencils, and swatch out all of the new colors. If you check the description box below, I will have everything linked down there that you see in this video, as well as links to my Facebook group, my email list, my Etsy shop, and my Patreon if you'd like to support me there. I now also have channel membership if you would like more information out about that you can click the join button down below. Okay y'all, so I am so excited to unbox these. I cannot wait to see the new colors so that we can compare the new colors to the colors that we already had and see how many additional beautiful colors we get in this set. So these did just get delivered to me yesterday all the way from China, which is so exciting because these pencils are not even on Amazon yet. And so I get to see them a little bit early. Okay, y'all, so the big reveal. <laughs> And here they are, how exciting is that? So the packaging is the same as the previous packaging. Here is the 72 set. I did turn all of these over after I sharpened them because it's just much easier that way. But you could see that before we just had the one section. And so now we have two sections. Here we have one section of four rows. And then this one, we've got two sections of three rows that are separated. And oh my gosh, y'all, you know how every time I get a colored pencil set, I'm always looking for that beautiful light blue. And I could be wrong, it could be a gray, but it looks like we might have a light blue right here. These are the blues here. So if I'm right, I gotta take a peek at this. What is the color called? <gasps> Pastel blue. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am so excited, y'all. I wonder if it is anything like what we get in the Prismacolor set. So here is a cloud blue, and we did get this one in the previous set because it is on my swatch chart in the 72 set, but it looks like we get a lighter blue. I am so excited. I can't wait to swatch these all out. Okay, so I just noticed that these actually separate like that. So we've got two separate pieces of the packaging after you take the lid off, which is really cool. And then I have a little thank you note that came in here. It says, art is a light that never dims. Thank you. We would love to see your sharing of our products by using the following hashtag on social media, hashtag Artix. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact us anytime. And then it gives their email address and all of their social media. So that's a nice little added touch. Now the way that these go inside the packaging is they just come in and out like that. There's actually styrofoam in here and so there's little individual holes for every pencil to slide in and out of. And they do go in and out very easily but I would suggest either turning them upright like you saw that I did in my 72 set. Again, here's my 72 set where I turned them upright because it just, for me, makes them a lot easier to pull in and out. And I am also noticing that the styrofoam insert in the 72 set is standing up quite a bit higher than it is in this 126 set. I wonder if they did that for a reason because I did notice when I had the 72 set to pull these out of here after I've already pulled them all out, sharpened them and used them, to put them back in and pull them out, it is a little bit more difficult. And these seem to be coming out very, very easily. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at these pencils. And I did show these in the last video where I did my review of the 72 set. But for those of you that have not seen them yet, we'll go ahead and take a look at the pencils again. So this color 
color I have here is the Chromium Yellow Deep. I think that's actually a new color from what we had before. So that's an additional yellow. Because if you remember in my previous reviewer, if you have these pencils, most of these names were the same as a lot of the colors we get in the Prismacolor set. So I'm wondering if that may have changed just a little bit. So we'll take a look at that as we get a little further into the video. So we do get the colored barrel on these pencils and the top of the pencils is completely closed off so you cannot see the core. They say Arctix on them, then they have this little fancy star right here next to that. And then it just says color pencil and if we turn it over we have a UPC code we've got a bunch of decorative stars on the pencils that's a nice little added touch and then over here I don't know if you could see that because it's super super small but we've got the name of the pencil again the name of the pencil is chromium yellow deep and then we have a number right over here and all of the numbers on these pencils are different so I believe that is the number of the actual colored pencil let me go ahead and grab another one this pastel blue, I'm so excited about that. But if I look at these right together, the yellow one says AT1025, and then the pastel blue says AT2022. Now, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, and I actually had to take a picture of that and zoom it in because I've got my glasses on, and I still cannot see it. It is super, super small. So when I swatch these, I will not be using the numbers of the pencils because with the silver writing on top of the barrels and as small as these are, it is actually very hard to see. Now, I will say that the silver writing on the barrels does look very pretty. I would imagine on some of the colors, the silver will stand out. Like if I were to grab this dark purple here, this color is called violet, but you could see that the silver stands off of that color much much more so this is what the tip of the pencil looks like when it comes to you and it does have that flat tip on it and a lot of times these companies do that because it protects the pencils when they're being shipped you don't want to get your pencils and you've got a bunch of broken cores or broken leads on your pencils and I do always suggest that when you get your pencils to sharpen them before you use them because there usually is a wax coating on these tips which is also for additional protection. And a lot of times if you try to color with that before you sharpen the pencils, you're not going to get the same results from any colored pencil. So I went and grabbed a Prisma color because I know I'm gonna be asked and I wanted to go ahead and show you a comparison for those of you that don't have these pencils. Now the barrels on the Prisma colors are three millimeters, but the Artex pencils are 3.8 millimeters. If you look really closely, you could see that they are a little bit bigger in diameter than the Prisma colors are. Okay, so I grabbed a polychromos colored pencil here, and you could see that these are about the same in diameter as a polychromos. I believe they're 3.8 millimeters, and so are the Artex pencils. Now these are a wax-based pencil. I know there was a little bit of confusion in my last video where I reviewed these because the company Company actually had a mistake on their website and they had put on there that they were oil-based pencils so I had actually reached out to my contact and asked him about that and they went on the website and they did correct that but these are definitely a wax based pencil and if you go to Amazon and you look at the listing you will see that they now do say that they are a wax based pencil so I just wanted to clarify that. Okay, so next we're gonna go ahead and test these in the pencil sharpener. I know I did this in my previous video where I reviewed the 72 set, but we're gonna go ahead and do it again for those of you that did not watch that video. I like to do this because I would like to see how soft or hard the wood is on the pencils when you put them in the pencil sharpener. And I usually do that with the doll because it is hand cranked and so you can tell by how hard or easy this lever is to turn, whether or not the pencils are made with a very hard wood or softer wood and that really goes to tell also the quality of the actual colored pencils. If I were to put something like a Prismacolor in here it would be extremely easy to turn the lever because the wood on those is extremely soft but if I were to put something that is very very budget like a Crayola in here it would be very very difficult for me to turn this lever. So I'm going to grab my pastel blue <laughs> and I am going to test this one first in the doll. Okay, so it's fairly easy to turn this and that is what my lead looks like. 
I absolutely love this pencil sharpener. If y'all had not made the decision yet to purchase a doll 133, I highly recommend it. I was having tons of broken cores and issues with my Prisma colors until I got this pencil sharpener and it works fabulous on every pencil. Now these do have a round barrel. With this pencil sharpener, I can sharpen round barrels, hexagonal, barrels, square barrels, the wider pencils. It's absolutely amazing. And the same goes for this jar link here. I have reviews on both of these. I will link them in the upper right hand corner, but we're going to go ahead and test them out on the jar link now, just so I could show you how this pencil sharpener performs. I know I have a lot of new people that are following my channel, looking for colored pencils, looking for sharpeners. And so I feel like this part of the video is a pretty important part of a pencil review. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here and push it down it automatically stops the auto stop always works on this pencil sharpener without fail and that is what the tip of my pencil looks like and then I will show you the two side by side so you can see that they both give us pretty much the same results so if you are someone that struggles with hand paint or anything like that you may want to go with the jar link so that you've got an electric pencil sharpener I was so excited to finally find an electric one because at the time when this company reached out to me I was having some issues with my hands and having some hand pain and so this really really helped and when you you get a new colored pencil set and you want to sharpen all 126 pencils in this case <laughs> it's really good to have an electric pencil sharpener so you could get it done much much quicker okay y'all so I have gone through and I have sharpened all of my pencils and I've taken out all of the additional colors that are included in this set and I did want to pull the box out and show you the back and mention that the numbers on the pencils as I mentioned earlier are very very small and very hard to see but if you look at the back of your box you will have the numbers here on the back of your box but it does not show the name of the color just the number so if you're confused about what the number is you will be able to find the numbers here on the back of the box and they're much more legible standing off of this green when i was going through and i was pulling out all of the new colors i did notice that all of the new names on all of the new pencils do have very unique names if you have the 72 set you are probably familiar with the fact that these pencils do all have matching names to what we would see in the prismacolor set I did notice that I have two colors that are an addition in this 126 set, seashell pink and scarlet red. In the Prisma color set, we actually have a Scarlet Lake, which is similar, but we definitely have a seashell pink. As for all the rest of them, they are all very new, unique names, and they don't match up to the Prisma colors. But I also do want to say that when I was going through all of them, and pulling out all the colors I've checked and double checked and don't know where I must have gone wrong but I do have an extra pencil here because there should be an additional 54 colors I've counted a couple times and I actually have 55 colors here so I have one additional color so as we go through this and we swatch the colors out maybe I'll catch it but I did also want to mention that we get neons now so the names on the neons are opera pink fluorescent orange and fluorescent yellow and so the names on the neon colors are different from what we get in the prisma colors but with the prisma color set we do get a pink an orange and a yellow so I have all the names written down on my swatch chart and all my pencils are nice and sharpened. So I did discover that I have a Prussian blue and we also have a Prussian blue in the Prismacolor set, but we don't have a Prussian blue in the previous set. So that was another one that was named like the Prismacolors, but is not in this set. And I thought for sure that was my extra pencil and it wasn't. <laughs> So we're going to go with it. I have 55 pencils here. I don't know where the extra one is. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> But I have written out all of the names. All of the names are very different from the Prisma colors, aside from just a couple of them. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to start swatching. I'm using my 72 swatch chart that I created that is available in my Etsy shop. If you're interested, I will have the link for this down below. But we are going to go ahead and start swatching these so that we can do a review of the new colors and see how they fit in with the colors that we previously had in this set.
So here's all of our new colors and they are just beautiful. We're gonna see how these colors add to what we already had, but I do wanna mention a few things about my experience while I was swatching these pencils and they do lay down very, very nicely. The leads on the pencils did hold a point even when I did the harder pressure on each one of the boxes. Now, when I got to the fluorescent orange and the fluorescent pink, which they're calling opera pink, those felt a little bit scratchy to me. But then when I got to the fluorescent yellow, that one was literally like butter. <laughs> literally like touching butter to the paper. But all of these pencils are very pigmented and they go down on the paper very, very nicely. The color goes down on the paper the minute your pencil touches it. So overall, they just perform beautifully. Okay, y'all, so I have swatched out all of the colors. So these are all of the new colors here on this swatch chart. And on this swatch chart, I have the colors from the previous 72 set. And the mystery of why I had 55 colors was driving me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so I have spoken to my contact at Artex and I think that we have solved the mystery. So there are a few interesting things that I want to share with you about these pencils before we do a review of the additional colors that we are getting in this complete 126 set. So there were actually some colors that were taken out of the previous 72 set. So the set as you know it previously, if you have the set of 72, there are going to be some colors that have been taken out and replaced with other colors. They have taken out two of the yellows up here and they have replaced it with a purple and a blue. We are gonna get a brand new 72 set that is going to be a little bit different than the previous one and I'm gonna talk about that now. But they have taken out the yellow chartreuse which was very, very close to this lemon yellow and they have also taken out the shortbread which was extremely close to both the sunburst yellow and the sand. So I think these are really positive changes and I'm totally excited about it. Now those colors have been replaced with these two colors. So if we look at the swatch chart where I just swatched out all the new colors, the colors that have replaced those are the ocean blue, which is right here. And then the other color that is new that I had no idea, lavender, had the same name as a color in the Prismacolor set, so I automatically assumed when I was going through the colors that it was already in the set, which it was not. So this color here, lavender, is actually new. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this out down here at the bottom. Of course, it's going to be out of order, but I'm going to go ahead and re-swatch all of these anyway. So this is a brand new color that we are getting in the 126 set. And so I believe the way that it's gonna work is that if you don't already have the 72 set and you decide to purchase the 72 set, you are going to get this color and the ocean blue in that set, but you will not receive the shortbread or the yellow chartreuse. So as I said, these sets are not released yet or have not been released yet at the time I'm filming this video. So on release day, that will all be confirmed. But as far as right now, that is what I've been told by my contact at Artex. But overall, I think those are positive changes because these colors were rather close to each other and getting rid of the shortbread is really not a loss. And then the yellow chartreuse, these are very close too. So getting rid of that one, I don't feel like it's a loss either. And if I put the swatch charts right up against one another, the new colors that we are getting are a really nice addition. So we've got the lavender here and you can see by looking at the original set, that one fits in really, really nicely. We're getting a really light pale purple, which is really, really pretty, which would fit in somewhere right about here. And then we're also getting this ocean blue. And if you look at a lot of these other blues, it looks like this one also fits in very nicely. 
And then I was given an official price. When these pencils are available on Amazon, the 126 set will be $54.99. And I think that is a fair price for these. I'm sure there will be sales as well and promotions like there have been with the initial 72 set. The 72 set usually sits right around $26, $29, somewhere right around there. I think it has occasionally dropped to around $25, but like I said, the new set is going to be a little bit different. And one of the other differences includes that they are changing the pencils so that the barrel actually matches the core of the pencil. Now here is my 72 set and I just want to look really quick to see how some of these barrels line up with the core of the pencil. So let me go ahead and pull this one out here. It's the first one that caught my eye. So this is the Carmine Red and you can see that the core of the pencil looks different from the barrel. This has a lot more orange in it, it looks like, and then the barrel is much more red. So here is another one. This is the Sienna Brown and this is another one that you could see the core of the pencil has a much different color than what you see on the barrel of the pencil. I was also told that the 126 set was created so that we could have more mid-tones and if you look at the swatch charts it does look like we have gotten quite a few mid-tones and then if you go back and look at this one you could see lots of really light colors more light colors down here some lighter grays some really light greens and then if you look at this set we do have some darker colors and we get a couple more mid-tones here. So as far as the greens, I would consider this a mid-tone, this a mid-tone, this one, and even possibly this one. And then look how gorgeous that new pastel green is that we get. That's so, so pretty. And then they also say that we should get at least five layers down on the paper with these pencils. I'm most likely not going to do a blend test in this video because I have already done one with these pencils. So if you would like to check that out, I will link my previous review on this set in the upper right hand corner because I'm pretty sure they've not changed the way that they've been formulated. So this is the original swatch chart and then these are our new colors. So let's go ahead and look at the new colors that we have gotten. So in the old set, we did have a cream, which was a really pale, pale yellow, which is really, really beautiful. And then we've gotten this new Hansa yellow light, which fits in perfectly right in between these two. This light yellow looks like it may have the same undertone, but it is a little bit darker than this Hansa yellow light. And then we got one other yellow, which fits in really nicely. It's a little bit darker than the Jasmine. And I think they made a really good decision at getting rid of this yellow chartreuse and totally taking that out of the set and replacing it with that purple. Because if you look at the previous set, we really only had a few purples. And then so we got even additional purples in the new set. So we have a good amount of purples now. As far as orange, we only got this one new dark, deeper orange, cadmium orange deep. And then we have the Cadmium Orange Light, which is a really pale shade of orange, and it's really, really pretty. It does still have a little bit of yellow in it. And this one, I noticed that I wrote this down wrong on the swatch chart. It should say Chromium Yellow Deep, and I put Cadmium Yellow Deep, but I am going to re-swatch these and put them in some kind of better order so that I could have all 126 all on one swatch chart. So if we look at the original set, we already had some golden yellows. So we had the yellow ochre and then the golden rod, which are really pretty. So we already had quite a bit of colors that had orange in them. These are all yellows here, but they are like yellow oranges. Again, they did get rid of the shortbread, so we still have the sunburst yellow in the sand, and then this yellowed orange. We have a light peach and a peach and an orange in the original set. So we did only get this one orange here, which is a really great addition because we already had quite a few oranges in and this one fits in probably right after the pale vermilion. And then we get into our reds. In the original set, we had quite a few reds already from here to right about here. And then we received a couple additional reds in the 126 set. So we've got the scarlet red and the chili pepper. The scarlet red probably fits in right about here or maybe over here. And then the chili pepper fits in right about here as well between these colors. And it's a little bit of a lighter shade than the crimson red. And then these reds here 
are really nice additions as well. They fit in somewhere right around here. And then this dark salmon color is really, really pretty. I really like that color. It's really, really unique. And then we get into our purples. I think we already talked about our purples. And then if you notice on this set, we got so many blues. We got blues all the way from here to here. And you all know I am just totally loving this pastel blue. I am so excited about that. Those of you that have been watching my videos for quite some time, you know that with these budget sets, I'm always looking for a pastel blue and we got it in this set. So this is probably going to end up being one of my favorites and we all know already that the Artex pencils perform really, really nicely. So all of these new blues that we did get in this set from here to here, they all fit in really nicely with the blues that we already have, which are right here, starting at the indigo blue, and then to this light cerulean blue, and then we have this cloud blue down here. But I don't think any of these blues are exactly the same. I think they all fit in nicely. We did also get a couple teal shades. This cobalt teal blue is really pretty, and this deep sky blue is really pretty as well. We've got all different blues with all different undertones. I think that they all have their place, and they're all really pretty. And then in this set, we did have our aquas. So we have our light aqua and then the jade blue. Those are really, really pretty. Because if you look at the new colors we got, we got this ocean green, and this color fits in really nicely right about here with these shades of aqua. But we did have quite a few greens before before in the previous set all the way from our blue greens starting right here to probably right about here. This color is called turquoise gray, but it does still have a lot of green in it. And then all of the addition of the new greens that we received, they are all beautiful. And then look at this pastel green. I am just in love with that pastel green and the pale green. And before we did have ginger root in the previous set. That one does have a lot of green in it and it fits in really nicely with all of these other new greens that we received. I'm just loving the new greens we got. I mean, look at the army green, this fern green, and the dark teal. We just have so many beautiful greens now in this set. And so all together with the set as a whole, we've got some really pretty shades of green with a lot of different undertones. Overall, I think you'll be able to create some really beautiful leaves in your coloring books with the greens that we have in this complete set. We do have this old gold, which is a very unique color. And then we've got some beigey colors here. And then we got a couple additional browns. So we have a brown here and a brown here. And then we have a burnt umper, umber and then a Van Dyke brown. And then we have a Venetian red here, which is sort of a brownish red. And then we get this color here called Mars brown. This is a brown, but it has a lot of red in it. But overall, I think all of these new browns that we got and the beiges, I think they fit in really nicely down here with what we had in the previous 72 set. And then of course we got our neon colors which I'm so excited about. If you look down here at the grays we already had quite a really nice selection of grays for a 72 set. So the grays start right about here and they go to right about here. And so we didn't get any additional grays in this set but they were not needed because we really already had everything that you could possibly need. And then this set had the black and the gold and the silver. So now we not only have our gold and our silver we have our neon colors to add to that as well. So overall, if you look at all of these colors as a whole, I really think that we have a very nice selection of colors and I think they made a really good choice taking out the colors they did and replacing them with the new colors that they have added. I think after those few little small changes, we have a really nice complete set now to where you'll be able to make lots of gorgeous color combinations, especially with the addition of some of these lighter colors that we got, you'll really be able to make your flowers or your leaves or whatever it is you're coloring really, really pop off the page. So I hope y'all enjoyed my review and my first impressions of this brand new Artex 126 colored pencil set. I do plan on re-swatching these and putting them all on one swatch chart. I did already create a swatch chart that has 126 colors on it because y'all, that's just an odd number. <laughs> 
and I don't think we're going to find 126 in any other set. But I think this set now as a whole has some really beautiful colors in it. We have the perfect array of light colors to use for highlights, mid-tones, and our darkest colors to create those really drastic shadows to create lots of depth and dimension on our coloring pages. And I just think the set as a whole now is a really, really nice set. And I love the changes that they made. They are very welcome changes. I love that they took out the yellow chartreuse because it was so, so close to this lemon yellow. And they replaced it with a purple, a very light pale purple, this lavender over here that we didn't have in the previous set. So now we have a really beautiful light purple and we don't have two colors that are almost matching. But the changes that they did make are very welcome changes and I think it was a really good decision. Now I usually do do a blend test at the end of all of my videos, but I don't think that they have changed the formulation of these pencils. So I really don't think we need to do another blend test. But if you would like to see the blend test from my previous review where I reviewed the original 72 set of pencils, I will make sure that video is linked in the upper right hand corner. If you would like to see me color with these in a coloring book, please let me know in the comments below. Everything that you've seen in this video will be linked down in the description box below so that you can easily find it. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Happy coloring. Bye.